indictment. Today's legal term is indictment. And the definition of an indictment is a formal accusation that uh, a crime has been committed, handed down by a grand jury using probable cause standard. Mitch, talk a little bit more about this. A grand, a grand jury usually will decide to indict someone or not. Mm -hmm. They will issue what they call a true bill. I have to sign that true bill for it to become a formal indictment. But it's a way to charge somebody. So the grand jury may sit and listen to a number of sessions about a particular case. They're usually hard cases. They're cases where the police can't get somebody to cooperate, so we have to bring them in with a subpoena. We sometimes bring in lots of records to the grand jury and they sit and listen and they make a determination if there's probable cause. We run two grand juries every year. We have two grand juries. They sit for the whole year. They meet twice, twice a month. They hear cases and they come up with indictments. And then I sign them. When they come back with a true bill, I sign it. It becomes an indictment. And then the person just goes into the system just like they would otherwise. So you really have to have a reason to charge somebody. People need to really understand that it's not just a, a willy-nilly situation. Oh, no. I mean, we did a whole show on what we have to do for, yeah. as far as charging goes. You could actually get the situation where the grand jury wants to indict the person on a probable cause standard. Mm -hmm. But, but you, as the DA, it's like, well, we don't have enough evidence to convict the person under a reasonable doubt standard. And I wouldn't sign that indictment and we wouldn't bring it. So even though the grand jury says, yeah, we got probable cause, I might say, yeah, but that's all we've got, and that doesn't make it in the criminal justice system. You have to have a reasonable belief that you can prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt, or you can't bring the case ethically. And sometimes people say, well, why don't you just indict them and work really hard to try to get them, or why don't you just charge them and work really hard before the preliminary hearing to get more evidence. It's not the way we do it in Denver. That would be unethical in my mind.